Hello everyone, my name is Miss Sarah from Fibo Kids Art Academy. Kamusta po kayo? That means hello, how are you in Tagalog. Today we're going to be learning how to make various Filipino desserts using cut paper. So let's get started. So when you're done with your art, it may look something like this. We have flan, halo halo, and sapin sapin. Some of my favorite Filipino desserts. You're going to need construction paper of different colors, a piece of white paper, scissors, glue, oil pastels, and markers. You will also need a hole punch if you have one. So to get started, we're going to get a white piece of paper. We're going to do our practice drawing. Now when I draw, I'm going to be using a Sharpie. But that's because I want you to see my lines. For this step, I want you to use a pencil. Now, if you ever feel that I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video. It is a recording after all. I want you to work at your own pace. So to start, we're going to draw the hollow hollow glass. Now the hollow hollow is the subject of the piece of the art. So it's gonna be pretty big. We're gonna start over here by drawing a rainbow line for the top of the glass. We're going to draw a vertical line going down, but then it's going to curve in like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We have a vertical line going down, and then it curves in. The bottom of the glass is going to go right here. It's going to be a slanted line going down, another slanted line going down here. So it kind of looks like a triangle. And then we're going to have a curved line here. It's curved because the glass is rounded. It makes it look really realistic. After we're done with the hollow hollow glass, we're going to be drawing the sapin sapin. It's going to be a rectangle but with round edges. So I'm going to start by drawing a horizontal line going across, so a side to side. I'm going to give it a round corner. Vertical line going down. Another round corner. Horizontal line going across. Another round corner. I'm going to make a round corner here and then a up and down line to connect it. And there's our rounded rectangle for our sapin sapin. We have one more dessert and that's flan. I'm gonna start with a vertical line going down. I'm gonna jump over here, vertical line going down. Then I'm gonna connect these two lines with a rainbow line and then down here a U like that. And this is our hollow hollow glass and our desserts. We're going to move on to a different piece of paper. Next we're going to need red paper and green paper. This is going to be for our coconut jellies. I'm going to have two of each color. For the coconut jellies they're going to be rectangles. They're not going to be too big. I'm going to make them about the size of my thumb. So I'm going to draw one rectangle on the red. So horizontal line, that's vertical line. That was a horizontal line. Horizontal line, vertical line for a rectangle. You're going to draw another one. There, so two red coconut jellies, and then two green ones, so two more rectangles. Coconut jellies also come in different shapes, so they're not all rectangles. There's some that look like big beans, so if you want to draw some bean-shaped coconut jellies, be my guest, they would look something like this. Really fun. So once you have your coconut jellies drawn out, we're going to move on to another kind of paper. It's going to be 
yellow for jackfruit. Jackfruit typically comes in cans, but of course there is the fresh fruit jackfruit. To draw this, you're going to start with a squiggly line, and then you're going to make it wide by having a squiggly line underneath. There we go. I'm going to do two more, so squiggly line. It can be any kind of squiggles. My last one, I'm going to make it look like a mustache. I think that would be fun. So this is our jackfruit. When you're done drawing that, put it to the side. Next is purple paper. And once again, if you think that I'm going too fast, feel free to pause and work at your own pace. So for jackfruit, you're going to be drawing some circles. They don't have to be perfect circles because they are scoops of ice cream. I've never seen a perfect, perfect circular ice cream. So I'm going to draw it. It's going to be like a medium circle. There we go. I'm going to draw three because I think three scoops of ice cream is a good serving. So one circle, two circles, and one more. After that, we should have everything drawn out and ready to cut. So you're going to have your ube ice cream, your jackfruit, your coconut jellies. We'll also have red beans, but we're going to do that in a different way. So once you're happy with the way everything looks, you could outline it with a pencil a little darker so it's easier for you to see when you cut it out. So I'm going to be using scissors. I'm going to start by cutting out my coconut jelly. I'm just going to cut out the rectangles. When you cut, I like to cut a piece off like that. That way I don't have to deal with this big piece of paper anymore. I can just worry about this little piece. Coconut jellies, they're kind of like jello. Surprise! They're very sweet and soft, and they're one of my favorites. I like the coconut jellies that are young coconut. They're very delicious. And I love coconut. Coconut is super good. So there's my two green coconut jellies. I'm going to cut my red coconut jellies out. There is a special tool that's, it's like a chair and it has a scraper. And my mom has one. I think she got it from my grandma. And you could use it to scrape coconut with for your desserts. That's something that was in my house as a Filipino household, but I think I think other cultures probably use it. It's very useful. So we have our red coconut jellies. Time to cut out our jackfruit. I'm going to go ahead and cut the paper like this. Get rid of this. When you cut, make sure that you're putting your scraps in the trash can. It's nice to keep your area clean. My grandparents were from the island of Mindanao, from the Philippines. And they came to America in the 60s. When they came, they spoke three languages. They spoke Tagalog, Visayan, and English. I can only speak English, but I do know some phrases in Tagalog. My favorite phrase, my favorite word in Tagalog is biliktad, which means upside down. So later on when you're gluing things, make sure you don't glue them biliktad. Our jackfruit, almost done, last one. I 
I don't know if I mentioned it, but when you eat jackfruit, it feels kind of hairy. It has a hairy texture. I think that's really funny. Our ube ice cream. I would love to have some ube ice cream right now. Perfect for summer. Ube is a yam, so it's yam ice cream, which is also really funny. There are lots of things that go in the halo halo dessert that maybe you wouldn't think of as dessert, like yam ice cream. And later on, we're gonna use our hole punch to make some red beans. So three scoops of ube ice cream. If you wanted to have more ube ice cream, that is fine. You can never have too much ube ice cream or ice cream. When I was younger, I would go to my grandparents' house and they would cook. Well, my grandpa would cook. My grandma didn't cook. She made dresses. So we have our ube ice cream, jackfruit, coconut jellies. We have one thing left to cut out, our red beans. So you need a brown piece of paper and a hole punch. You're gonna punch some beans. I think it's super satisfying to use a hole puncher. And if you don't have a hole punch, you can take your scissors and cut it like this. A skinny strip and then snip it. And that's fine too. Maybe they don't look too much like beans, but it's more to add texture and little decorations to your piece of paper, to your artwork. So there's some beans cut with scissors. And this is the fun part. Here's our beans cut with a whole bunch. Just kind of spill out. There we go. So we have everything to put inside of our halo halo, but we need our glass. So I'm going to put these to the side. Ooh. There. And I'm going to cut out my glass as well as my sapin sapin and my flan. So like before, I'm going to cut these out so it's a little easier with a smaller piece of paper. I'm gonna cut out my sapin sapin. Sapin sapin comes in some very fun colors. We're gonna get to that later. It is a gelatinous rice dessert made with coconut. So sapin sapin, flan. Flan is my mother's favorite dessert. It is an egg custard and it has caramelized sugar on it. It is super, super yummy. And last but not least, we have our glass. We'll cut that out. The reason the glass is white is because it's easier for your colors to show up against the white paper, but also because Halo Halo usually has evaporated milk on it. And I'll talk a little bit more about the ingredients of Halo Halo. But first we're gonna finish cutting everything out so then we could just glue it together. Halo Halo means mix mix because it's a mix of different ingredients. All right. So now you should have everything cut out. So now we're gonna start gluing 
And we're also going to be adding some details with markers and oil pastels. So I'm going to get my background paper. I'm going to use pink. That's here. So I'm going to use pink. You can use different colors if you want. I'm going to start by gluing our biggest pieces of paper onto our background. But first, let's see how we want to arrange it. The hollow hollow is the main subject, so it should go in the middle. Put my full on. We could put this higher. There we go. I think that looks nice. And I'll put this one here. Now you can make it straight up and down, or you can maybe give it a little bit of a twist like this. That's fine. It is your artwork. You are free to arrange it however you would like. So let's start gluing. I have my glue. So I'm going to glue the back. I'm going to outline the glass like this. And then I'm going to stick it on my piece of paper, like that. There we go. I think it might need some more. Yeah, a little bit of more glue down here. There we go. If it ever just pops out of the paper, just put more glue on. My flan. Glue it on the back. There we go. And then my sapin sapin. I would love to have hollow hollow right now because it is a perfect dessert for summer because along with all its ingredients, it has shaved ice, which I love shaved ice on a hot day. So everything should be glued down. After that, we're gonna do some coloring with markers. I'm gonna start with brown. Now I want you to Start drawing this with your pencil, and then you can color it in with your brown marker first, uh, after. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a letter U at the bottom of the glass, like that. This is going to be our red beans. We're coloring it all brown, so that way it looks like the cup is full of beans. We're going to make some shapes like this, kind of like a cloud, some lumps and bumps. So once you draw that with your pencil and you're happy with the way it looks, go ahead and outline it with your brown marker and then you're going to fill it in. Make sure you get all your white spots. There are lots of different cultures that use beans in their dessert. And you know what? It's because it's delicious. So there's our beans. Next, we're going to use yellow. I'm going to use orange so it shows up. But I want you to use your pencil. With your pencil, you're going to draw a line up like this. If you notice, it's not touching the edge of my glass because it wants we want it to look like it's inside of the glass. So another line like that. And then you can make another squiggly line like that. So when you're happy with the way your pencil drawing looks, outline it in yellow. I used orange so it's easier to see. But then when you're done outlining it, you're gonna fill it in with yellow. This is where you're going to glue the jackfruit.
we're going to switch for our coconut jellies. And again, I want you to use a pencil for this first step. So I'm going to draw a line down in red. Another line down. So draw those two lines with your pencil. And then you're going to have a squiggly line like this. There we go. And then you're going to have another squiggly line like this. So draw that with your pencil. And then you're going to outline this side green and this side red. Or it could be red on this side or green on this side. It's up to you. Once you're done outlining it, you're going to fill in half with red and half with green. So I like to use my markers going in one direction. I don't like to scribble because it kind of tears the paper up, which isn't fantastic. Then the other side. So the glass is looking pretty full, which is cool. But now it's time to glue some things inside. So to begin with, I'm going to glue my ube ice cream. So first I'm going to arrange it and how I want it to be. I think that looks good. Put those to the side. I'm going to glue this first one. These are pretty big scoops of ice cream, which is awesome. Then you glue it down. Second scoop. Glue it down. Then last scoop of ube ice cream. I put this on top. There. Next up is our coconut jellies. I'm going to arrange them. I'm going to put the red on the side where the green is and the green on the side where the red is. Like that. And then glue them down. one. Now I grew up in a pretty big Filipino family. We had lots of family get-togethers where we would do fun things like karaoke and we'd eat a lot of food like pancet and lumpia. Pancet is glass noodles and lumpia is kind of like really crunchy egg rolls. Glue this one down. Something that we would do at our family reunions is a traditional Filipino dance called tinikling. And when you dance the tinikling, you are dancing with big pieces of bamboo. And they take the bamboo and they put it on the ground and they do like this. They make a rhythm like and as you dance, you have to dance around the bamboo and you try not to get your foot caught in the bamboo. It's pretty fun, but I have gotten caught a couple times. Next is our jackfruit. I'm going to arrange them, see how they look like that. I think this is looking pretty good. I'd eat this. So I'm going to glue them down. 
So to make halo halo, you take your shaved ice, you layer all the ingredients, you stack them up kind of like a parfait. And then when it's all done, you pour your evaporated milk on top. And a lot of the things inside of halo halo come from a can, so there's kind of a sweet syrup on them. And that sweetens the milk. And it's really, really super delicious. And I have also eaten things straight out of the can, just like the jackfruit or the coconut jellies. And then my mom would tell me that that's cheating and I need to make the entire dessert. So next is our red beans. There they are. You just take them, put glue, and stick it on. And you can kind of move it up onto where your jackfruit is so it looks like the halo halo ingredients are mixing together because that's why it's called halo halo because halo halo means mix mix. It's all mixed together. And these little beans are like for accents, decorations. I really love paper cutting and paper crafts because I like the texture it gives. You can put as few or as many beans as you like. Personally for me, beans aren't my favorite. I like to put a lot of coconut jelly and ice cream. I think I'm almost done. That one didn't stick. Here we go. I have two more beans, so I might as well put them all on. Last bean. Where should I put it? Let's put it here. It's kind of floating up. There, now our halo halo is filled to the brim. So now that everything is glued into place, we are going to be switching to our final medium, which is oil pastels. We're gonna be adding some colors and details. So first we're going to color in the sapin sapin. You're gonna need purple and you're gonna need orange. So you're going to draw a line going across the sapin sapin like this. And you're going to color it in. The top part I'm doing purple. There's going to be an orange stripe underneath. Sapin sapin is very delicious. My favorite Filipino dessert, however, is called biko. Biko is kind of like licorice rice. It's kind of caramelly, very delicious. With your orange, you're going to draw a line underneath like that. And then another line, it's gonna be divided into three. Oops. And then you're gonna fill it in. Sapin sapin is also kind of like jello. I think what I like most about Filipino desserts is the texture. I really like kind of jello y foods. Now you're gonna be gonna be coloring the flan in. We're gonna use brown. We're gonna draw a rainbow line underneath. Now I am drawing right with my oil pastel, but if you want, you could draw first with your pencil. You can pause the video at any time. So you draw that curved line, and then you fill in the top of the flan. This is the caramelized sugar, which is my favorite part of the flan. Here we go. After that, 
we're going to take our tan and we're going to color in the bottom part of this. So first I'm going to outline So outline everything and then we're going to fill it in. Then after that we're going to add highlights. So fill it in. Flan is made with so many eggs. It's an egg custard. And I had it a couple weeks ago. It's very easy to make. I would absolutely recommend finding a recipe and then asking your parents. After that, we're going to take a light tan color and we're going to color the middle to add some lightness. So there we go, we're mixing our colors together. I'm going to try some white. I think it could go lighter. So right in the middle. Yeah. There we go. There. Once you're done coloring the flan and the sapin sapin, we're going to add some details. So I'm going to use my white again. I'm going to add little spots to the ube ice cream, like this. And of course the coconut jellies are kind of shiny, so you can add lines like this. Just color one side, like that. Add some highlights to the jackfruit. And then, of course, since this is in a glass, we're going to draw a curved line from here to here. And if you want to draw it with a pencil first, absolutely. But I'm just going to use my white oil pastel and draw a curved line. There we go. After that, I'm going to take, let's see, oh, I'm still going to use my white, actually. And I'm going to add a highlight on the glass. So it looks like the highlights are coming from this side because our white is on this side of the coconut jellies. So with my white oil pastel, I'm going to add a white line right here on this side. There. And then you can add another white line here to make the glass look like it's shiny. After that, I'm going to add some more detail onto the halo halo. So, some purple dots. There we go. And then, after that, I'm going to add some things to our background to make it look a little more fancy. I'm going to take my purple and add some spots. If you want to add sparkles, you can do that. You can add stars. I think that would be cool. I'm going to switch back to my white and add some white spots to make it look like everything is shiny. When I make paper craft, I like to add lots of details and textures. I think it makes it super interesting and super fun. And I'm going to add one more detail. It's going to be a shine on the top of the flan. Like that, and then I'm going to do one on the side too. There, because flans are really, really shiny in person. It's because of the caramelized sugar. So there is our finished project. We have our Filipino desserts, flan, Halo halo and sapin sapin. So salamat, which means thank you in Tagalog. I really enjoyed sharing my life and culture with you. Make sure to check out Fibo Village on Facebook 
for more cultural classes. They're super fun and super interesting because I love hearing about different people's lives and cultures. So to say goodbye in Tagalog is paalam. So paalam!